Welcome back my kings and queens. In this video I will show you how you can create car panel gaps like you see right here. To make this look really good it's not enough to apply this only on the doors but you have to apply this on every part of the car. So for example in the areas where the bumper separates itself from the front fender or the hood from the front fender. So stick around to the end and you will be a professional later on. And if you want to learn how to model a 3D low poly car, I've put together a complete step by step course on how to model a low poly car in Blender. In this course I have put together everything that I know and provided you with a lot of assets to make your 3D experience even better and easier. So if you want to learn the process of modeling a 3D low poly car as effective as possible, go ahead and check the link in my description. And now let's start adding some car panel gaps. So the first step to do is to select the car body, press tab to go into the edit mode and now you have to figure out where you have to add the car panels. For this I like to use some reference images and if you take a look at the front bumper, you can see that you have a gap right here which separates the front bumper from the front fender and you have a gap right here which separates the front bumper from the hood. Now in this example right here, we already have an edge right here where the front bumper is separated from the front fender and we do have an edge right here where the front bumper is separated from the hood. So this makes our life really easy. So let's start with this gap right here. Take this vertice and take this vertice right here and press Shift and D to duplicate these vertices. Then press right click to leave the vertices at the same space and press P to separate the vertices and press on selection to add them to a new selection. Now go ahead and take both of these edges right here Press Ctrl B to add in a bevel. Move your mouse to the size of how big you want the gap to be and scroll up your mouse wheel one time to create one loop cut in this bevel and go ahead with a size of something like this. Now you can see right here these two black dots are the vertices that we have duplicated before we added the bevel and you can see that the corner that we had is now completely gone and this is not what we want because the transparent part of the headlight is now sticking through the front bumper. Go ahead and select this object with these two vertices then with shift select the front bumper and press Ctrl and J to merge these objects together. Then go ahead and go into the edit mode and select both of these vertices right here and then the vertices that we have duplicated, press M and merge them at the last. Now with this we still have the bevel but we also have a corner that we had before. Now go ahead and repeat the process right here. Right here we only have this vertice right here which is off. So take this vertice, then the vertice that we have duplicated, press M and merge it at the last. Okay now we have added more geometry but we still don't have a panel gap. So in the edit mode, press K for the knife tool, put your knife tool onto this vertice right here, then to a point around here and then to this vertice right here, create a cut like this and repeat the process on this carved panel gap as well. Then you can go ahead and take these two vertices right here, press G and Y and use your arrow keys to move them a little bit in to a point maybe around here. Then go ahead and take both of these vertices right here, press G and then X and the left arrow key to move this in to the left side to maybe a point around here. Then go ahead and zoom out and take a look on the car panel gap that you've created. And now you can go ahead and play around with moving the vertices even more in or out. But what you do with it now, it really depends on your liking or how you want it to have. I think that something like this is enough. So then you also have to create a gap right here between the front bumper and the hood. So go ahead and take both of these vertices right here. Press Shift and D to duplicate the vertices. To leave the vertices at the same space, press P and click on Selection. And as you now have an edge between these vertices, just take this vertice, press E and then right click and repeat the process with this vertice as well. Then take this edge, press X and delete the edge. Then press A to select all, press M and measure it by distance. And you've left with two vertices. Then you can select this edge right here, Ctrl B to bevel this edge to a point around here. Then join these both objects together like I showed you before. Then right here you have to select this edge right here, press X and delete the edge. Go into the vertice selecting mode. Take this vertex, take this vertex, press M and merge it at the last. Then right here you can just take this vertice and this vertice, press M and merge it at the last. And go ahead and create a triangle right here between these three vertices. Then go ahead and use the knife tool again. And go ahead and take this edge right here and move it down and back to create this car panel gap right here. And this is looking pretty good. Now again by taking a look at the reference image you can see that you have a car panel gap right here where the hood is separated from the front bumper. And right here we also have all of these edges that are following this gap right here, even with this bending right here. So this again is really easy to make. Just select this vertice right here and the ending vertice. Press Shift and D, right click P and Selection. Then take all of these edges right here, create a bevel to a point around here. Then take this object and with Shift the car hold, press Ctrl J to join these objects together. And go ahead and take this vertice and this vertice merged at the last. Then at the top right here, 
First, select this edge right here and press X and delete this edge. Then you can go ahead and take this vertice and this vertice and press M and merge it at the last. Take this vertice and then this vertice and merge it at the last two. And go ahead and take this vertice and then this vertice, press M and merge it at the last. Then go ahead and make two cuts with the knife tool. One cut here at the top and then one cut at the bottom of the hood right here. And select all of these edges between these both cuts and start modeling out your car gap. Awesome. Now the next car gap would be the outline of this door right here. And if you take a look at our geometry right here, you can see from the blueprint that we have this car gap right here, but we do not have any vertices or edges on this line, but we do have the vertices on this line, so this is quite okay. Now you can go ahead and fix this by just adding some more vertices right here with the knife tool, and we will go ahead and do this. But just for you to remember that if you're about to model a car, be sure that in the modeling process you're already following all of these lines, even though this is a low poly model. But if you know that you want to add later on some car panel gaps, you will not only make the topology look better, but also save a lot of time. Let's go ahead and press K for the knife tool and let's make a cut through right here and all the way to down here. Then again, this is the beginning of this cut. It goes through right here and then ends up again right here. So press Shift and D on these both vertices. Press right click to leave them in the same space. Press P and press on selection. Then go ahead and select all of these vertices where we have to add in a bevel. So all of these right here, press Ctrl B, make the bevel a little bit bigger to right here and press left click to enable this bevel. And then just go ahead and merge these objects again and fix the issue that you've created right here. And then also the issue right here. And then go ahead and once again create two cuts right here with the knife tool. One at the beginning and one at the ending. And then select all of the edges between these cuts. And move all of these edges in to create a car panel gap. And from this point right here, I'm really confident that you can create the missing car panel gaps on your car by your own. If you're still interested in learning the complete process of modeling a low poly car in Blender, you can go ahead and watch my full step-by-step -step course with the link in my description. There will you find everything from modeling the first vertex of this model to rendering out the finished car. I've put together everything that I know in this course so you can learn how to model a 3D low poly car as effective as possible so you can go ahead and start selling your models and start making a really good amount of money with it. Now my kings and queens, remember that you don't have time to waste, so go ahead and start making something purposeful in your life. I'll see you in the next video.